What's up, y'all? It's your boy Piranha Head. This is uh, two Monte Tremor breathing kits that I bought from Amazon. I'm about to open it and do a review on it and let y'all see how I look. I've been using this for a while now. I kept a lot of my Piranha Say. And we about to say the uh, baby convicts with it right now so that the convicts can breathe again. I'm gonna take it out. I'm going to put them together and let y'all see how it look. Come in the pack. Little air thingy. Stop it from moving around. And I bought two of them. I'm gonna price it, and let y'all know the price of it at the end of the video. This is how it look. This is what it's called. Monte Chamin Fabric Kit. Put baby piranhas in here, or baby fish, period, and you can separate them from each other. Or you can, I, I, I use it for quarantine only. Basically only quarantine, but I separate the baby sometimes with them too, though. Come a little handbook, talking about how to use it, and how you not supposed to use it. I'm not gonna read the instructions, y'all could, but I'm just gonna show y'all how to do it because I already know how to set it up because I use, I, ha I have like probably like 10 of these things, man. These things help me uh, keep all my piranhas alive and keep them as long as I have them when they get hurt or harmed. I'm gonna set it up uh, kind of slow fast for y'all. But this right here, this is the tank that uh, hang on the side of the fish tank or in the front or wherever you want it to be. And it come with this lid right here. This going on top like this, y'all. This how it go. This how it's closed down. But let's set it up. Go start with this. This. I know I set it up quick and easy, y'all. Go ahead, cause I had like so many of these things, man. Go like that. This uh, tube, going here like that. And this is the bottom piece right here. It go on like this. And this, going here like this. And these things right here, these are the dividers. Let me show y'all real quick. These are the dividers to divide the fish with. You slide them straight in there like this. Look. Bam. That's how they fit. You can divide it uh, to two different sides. That's mainly what we go do. But it got two of these divider things that you could divide it in like three different little parts. Hold up. Let me see. Slide it in like that. Make sure it's on track too, y'all. And you do it like this. You can session off uh, three uh, things for three uh, small fish. So, three way. Got one fish there, one fish there, one fish there. But when we, since our corona is big, we use just one one whole thing, or we use it for the juveniles or the babies, and we put it in the middle for uh, two of them. So we can divide two hurt fish or two uh, sick fish that need to be quarantined or whatever. Because you all know piranhas, they fight and they bite each other a lot. And we do a lot of quarantining. I never used these before. Don't really care too much about them because these things are more than enough. This, this is what I put on the uh, tank where you put them in. Hold up. Put them in like, you can put them in like that or the side. The side, that's that's kind of too much. I don't really do mine from the side like this. When you put these in, they kind of hard to take out too. Once water starts getting them after, after a while, it's kind of hard to take them out. So once you put them in, however you put them in, like you don't need to hang on nowhere but like this on the tank anyway. I'm gonna show you how I hang it on the tank and everything so I ain't gotta worry about that. So we'll see how everything look. But this, like, man, this thing so raw, man. Like, this thing, like, if you got piranha fry or, like, uh, any kind of other fry, any fish fry or anything like that, or smaller fish or just anything, this thing, like, it got two of these bracket things that hold the water into the uh, freaking Monte Chamber uh, breathing kit, man. This the this my favorite one right here because, like, can't nothing get out. No food, no babies, like, nothing. No eggs or anything. I have all kind of stuff in this uh, breathing kit, y'all. Eggs, baby fry, small fish, big fish. Big piranhas, big everything. Man, look at the previous video. I got everything in this thing, but this is how it look when it go in there. You slide this thing straight in. And like, it stopped like everything. Come, it stopped everything. And the water, like, you suck the water up from, you, you hook this up to a, uh, a, a hose too, like the uh, the air hose. Let me see. I'm about to hook this thing up for y'all can see it though, but I'm gonna tell y'all everything that y'all need to know. So look, put this in here. You hook this up to a uh, air pump, air hose, a uh, air in the water. So this hide on, put the lid on, and it come with this too. It come with a little small hose that you can connect to your bigger hose that go to your pump. I'm about to uh, set this up and I'm gonna set everything up and let y'all. I'm gonna let it fill up with water and everything. I'm gonna show you a whole demo, man. A whole demo, but. 
you connect this to your uh, a, a longer hose and the uh, air pump and then uh, suck water up from the bottom and then drop it off to the top to get a fish or the, whatever you put in there uh, air and then the water, the extra flow fall out right here, man. This thing is amazing, man. All right, I'm about to go to the convict cichlids tank and because we're putting the baby convicts in here, y'all. We need this thing, man. I'm glad I got it, man. Amazon, man. The truth, man. It come quick too. So I'm gonna uh, set this up, then I'm come back and let y'all see how it works. All right, y'all. We got the convict cichlids tank. This is the uh, Martha Chamber hanging uh, breathing bo box right here. This is what it's called. That's how I look in the box. That's how the box look and everything. Now I'm gonna show y'all how to hang it and get it ready. You hang it like this. This is my uh, my air uh, pump right here. I got the uh, tube going around, and this is how you connect it. I showed y'all how to put it together already. I twist it around, look, I twist it around like that. You don't have to do that, that's, that's something I do. And I uh, push this on there like that, the hose. I put the hose on there like that. And then we take this, we uh, we put it uh, around the tank, or we'll put it around the uh, market breathing uh, box. And soon you stick it in, water should start shooting up. And I take this right here, and I tuck it under the box. I tuck it under the box out the way. All right, let's see. All right, y'all. One more thing I forgot to tell y'all to do. It's this little vibe thing on this uh, on the hose that you got to unscrew for the water to come out the uh, top of here. You got to make sure you unscrew this vibe. Unscrew that, and the water start pumping straight out. Okay, that's how the water is going to be in there. It come out like that. But I'm going to speed the process up and I'm going to take some water out the tank and I'm going to put it in the market chamber uh, hanging uh, box. There you go, just like that. I'm helping the uh, box fill this up. And now it's time for the crazy part and the fun part scooping the babies out. Yeah. I see the cichlids. Let's put them there so I can see how I look and how it work. That's the cichlids, man. The cichlids, convict cichlids. We just scoop and we scoop until we get enough that we uh, think is enough to keep in here. You don't want to overcrowd this thing, so we ain't gonna take all of them out and put them in this box because remember, we do have another box. So let's put the cichlids in there. Black convict cichlid babies, y'all. And this is how they look in the tank, y'all. This thing is amazing, man. It help you save your fish and your babies. So the big convicts cannot eat them. And you just scoop until you get enough that you think will be in there. And this is how much we're gonna get from now on, y'all. I mean, for now, that's what we're gonna get from now. And this is the top, you get the top just on like this. And it's supposed to have these things, I think I left them at the table, but it had these things that come at the top right here. I'm finna go see if we got them, cause I had them in my previous uh, box that I had. Okay, y'all, this is what I was talking about. It's two clips that go on both sides. They hold the uh, the lid down for the uh, fish that you put in here, or the babies can't uh, bump the lid, or it, just, it won't come open. I don't think they big enough to open it right now, but I'm still gonna put these things on, if I can remember how to do it. Okay, uh, let me see, it's been a while. Uh, all right, hold up. There you go. It's a certain way. To get, it's these little grooves you gotta slide them into. You gotta make sure they're right. If they ain't right, when they do get big, they can pop it straight up. All right, that's how I look, y'all. And that's the market chamber holding and breathing box. That is it, baby. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Piranha Head. Hope y'all like the video. This is the Monte chamber holding and breathing box, man. This thing saved me from all kind of stuff, man. I was happy to uh, do a uh, unboxing video for y'all. A lot of people been asking me what these is and asking me why you got them fish in that little tiny tank. They need a bigger tank because y'all didn't know what they was. But I was explaining everything to y'all in the video. This is my method of uh, quarantine them and keeping them uh, safe from getting eaten but from another piranha or putting my babies in it, man. Like this thing got me uh, like through a lot of like crazy like moments man when i didn't have another tank or i didn't have another tank set up or i didn't know where i was gonna pick one of my piranhas at man this thing just came through for me man but you know what i'm saying y'all seen how i like save my fish so if y'all want to say y'all fish like that i'm talking to other careers they got like piranhas or any type of fish if your fish getting beat up you gotta quarantine one man 
Like, if y'all love y'all fish like I love my fish, y'all, you know what I'm saying, quarantine them bad boys and get them together. And this is the easiest way, man. Like, y'all always ask me how I save my fish and, like, this how, man. I had to make this video for y'all. But hopefully y'all like the video. But peace out. It's your boy from around the head. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Peace.